was in the half million dollar position in March of 2020. That position went up to like 900K, like overall it was up like 400K. But long story short, I lost all the 500K and I did it publicly. What does it take to make $18 million through day trading? For Umar Ashraf, it started with a harsh lesson, losing $500,000 in a single day. In today's video, we explore Umar's journey and his key trading insights. Whether you're new to trading or aiming to refine your strategy, these tips could change how you trade. Umar began trading at 18, but it wasn't smooth sailing. He lost his initial $20,000 investment and spent two years figuring out trading and himself. Weirdly, it didn't hurt. I know I remember people in my life were like, oh my God, you lost 20,000, like, are you okay? I was like, it's just money, mm. right? And I don't mean to say it in a bad way, like it's just money and me, right? But it was, I remember I learned a very valuable lesson. I forgot where, and it stuck with me that Money doesn't cry over you. Money doesn't get depressed over you. Money doesn't get sick over you. His consistency came after nearly a decade of hard work. The main takeaway, trading isn't a quick path to wealth. It requires time, patience, and discipline. So how did he master his craft and what are his core insights? Umar shares how prioritization and discipline played a key role in his success. It's also, I think the mindset is, I was okay on sacrificing and doing the dirty work and giving up certain things to have a better life later on, mm -hmm. right? I think most people don't want to make the sacrifice. So I was like, okay, uh, I'm making these sacrifices of not going on vacation, let's say with my friends from high school, they want to go on vacation or these group of people that want to go on vacation. While others spent on vacations and parties, he stayed focused on learning and saving. Every dollar he earned represented hours of hard work. By sacrificing early on, he built a solid financial foundation. Umar's advice is clear. Be disciplined with your money and avoid unnecessary expenses if you want to grow wealth. His motivation? Proving doubters wrong and breaking free from conventional paths. Umar's story highlights the need to understand your unique trading style. Whether you're a fast-paced scalper or long-term strategist, knowing your strengths and weaknesses is crucial. Unlike many traders who copy others, Umar emphasizes the need to align your strategy with your personality. Self-awareness is a critical factor to success. In 2020, Umar faced a major setback. But those losses paved the way for a record-breaking $7.5 million year in 2021. A key factor in his growth, journaling and analyzing trades. I was actually talking to someone that um, uploaded their trades on Tradezilla and I was just running them through the platform. And when they uploaded, they're like, I can't find, like my strategy doesn't look good. And I was just going through their trades and I was like, why'd you get in here? Why'd you get out? Why? Like I kept asking, like, holy shit, I see what I'm doing. Just so, something very small. They're like, the moment the trade goes a little green, I sell, but the aftermath of the trade is they would short, get out, and then like two minutes later, it would go lower. And it would consistently happen. And they had stops in place, but they weren't following their stops, right? Uh, they weren't letting the stops hit. It's just so many different variables. But when they looked at their data, they're like, wow, I got three points that I'm not following. Mm -hmm. And the only way you, you learn is by, the only way you build on that is by by actually writing things down and looking at it. Umar treats trading like a business, meticulously tracking every trade, identifying patterns, and refining strategies. His message is simple. If you're not analyzing what works and what doesn't, you won't grow. Success in trading isn't just about numbers, it's about mindset. Umar stresses the importance of staying grounded, taking breaks, and not chasing past victories. That's, That's a very small thing, but it's, you know, pe people might say, no, I'm disciplined. And I'm like, okay, find the most difficult thing for yourself and do it for 30 days straight. Yeah. If you can't do it for 30 days straight, let's say wake up at six in the morning and go to the gym. And I mean, 6 a.m. You said 6 a.m., do it at 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. You can't do that. I'll tell you right now, you're gonna do it well in trading. It's just not, mm -hmm. right? It's like you need to find those areas where you can really push yourself and push yourself to be extremely disciplined to achieve a level of success. Definitely. Managing risks, avoiding ego-driven decisions, and maintaining mental resilience are essential. He compares trading to sports, where discipline separates the winners from the rest. Like a boxer, you need to stay focused, stick to your strategy, and avoid distractions. Whether it's journaling or recalibrating after losses, the mental side of trading is as vital as technical skills. What are Umar's key principles for success? 
Discipline and continuous learning are essential in both trading and life. Understand your unique trading style and play to your strengths. Learn from your mistakes. Use tools to analyze and improve, such as journaling. Mindset is the foundation. Surviving the market requires smart risk management and mental resilience. By focusing on these principles, you'll be better equipped to navigate the ups and downs of trading while continually improving. Let us know in the comments your biggest takeaway from Umar's journey, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more insights from top traders. See you in the next video.